gonna change out the light in my dining room, so I need to get one of their lighting kits. These are $15. I'm gonna grab this one right here in white. They also have it in black, and I think that they're starting to carry it in gold, although I don't see it right now. Ikea has all these new selections of table lamps that are really cute. I'm gonna grab this one that's $11.99. It's kind of, it says it's dark brown, but it looks black to me. And then they also have these cool light bulbs that you can put in them for $5.99. So I'm gonna pick up one of those to make a shade for this lamp. So I printed off two hexagons, one that was smaller and one that was a little bit larger. And I just did this in Microsoft Word. I'm gonna cut out the hexagons. Next, I made sure that the smaller one was going to fit perfectly onto my lamp. Then I grabbed some bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to measure them out so that they are going to be the same size as my hexagon when I put them around the edges. I used the hexagon as a template. Next, I'm going to hot glue the pieces together. Now I'm gonna repeat that same step for the smaller hexagon, just marking and cutting them out so all of the pieces are the same size and then I'll hot glue them together. So I created a second smaller hexagon, then I wanted this bond to be really strong on them. So I added in some Gorilla Glue and I allowed that to sit and dry overnight before I went any farther with this project. Next, I'm gonna be cutting some more skewers that I'm gonna be using as support pieces. So I'm gonna start by gluing them to the corners of my hexagon, and then I'm gonna attach it to the bigger hexagon. I'm gonna use a lighter just to kind of make the glue disappear a little bit and have it lay flat. I'm gonna cut six more brace pieces that I'm gonna use on the top half. Next, I'm gonna come in with an acrylic gold paint and paint all of the pieces with two coats of acrylic paint. Now, since I bought such a large light bulb, I had to assemble it with the light together. If you want the light fixture to be able to come off, you're gonna have to use a smaller light bulb. But since this was so inexpensive to make, I was okay with the fact that the light bulb was gonna be stuck in there. Next, I'm going to add my support pieces to the top. Now, once you get these all glued together, it is very pliable, so you can move it around and get it into the right shape that you want it to be in. I'm gonna use the lighter again to make sure I don't have any excess glue, and then I'll also come back in and touch up the paint. And here's a look at how this cute little lamp turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.